Pit Master here. Let me ask you guys. Um, what's up, Jackie? Okay, let's talk about um, self-defense. Okay, for some reason there's this like women's self-defense. I don't, I don't, I think that's stupid, but I think self-defense is self-defense. No matter if you're a man or a woman, I don't think there's a gender assigned or should be assigned to self-defense. But with that said, there's size, right? I mean, if you're gonna, why would you have a woman's self-defense? Because they're smaller? Imagine like you'd have Samoan self-defense because they're bigger or Asian. I don't know. It's stupid. But hey, what's up? What's up, Rodolfo? Okay, Lonnie, what's up? Okay, here's what I want to talk about. Say it's a woman. Self-defense for a woman. What would the equalizer be? What do you think the best equalizer for a woman is? Because if she gets jumped... I mean, the whole reason a woman and a man aren't equal is because the size. I mean, pretty much, that's it. Um, men are, are, are statistically uh, bigger, than, um, bigger than women. So what do you think would be the best equalizer for a woman or a smaller man, basically? I mean, what do you think? Like a woman is going out to her car... Um, She's going out to her car and it's, uh, you know, it's, it's late. Say she's getting off work at, uh, um, you know, it's like two in the morning, one in the morning, whatever. She's walking to the, to her uh, parking lot and it's kind of scary. I had actually, I had a woman right today tell me, uh, <laughs> chubby guy, self-defense, um, and she says she gets help work at like 10 at night and the parking lot that she hurt, she parks at is very dark. So what, what, what do you think is the best we weapon that a woman or a small man should carry to a park uh, when going to a parking lot or had to walk down the street or go to the store or something at night? I mean, even, even if you're at Walmart at nine o'clock at night, I mean, shit can happen in a parking lot. Guess what? It has. So, what do you think the best weapon a woman should carry? I think, without a doubt, but this one is, is, is um, it's, um, I don't know, a gun. I think a gun is number one, but there's, there's too many things besides guns. You know, like, I mean, there's too many reasons against a gun. Michael, your hands are great, but... Like, okay, your hands are great, but say say Mighty Mouse fought Mark Hunt. They couldn't just use hands. Mark Hunt's too big and too strong. There would have to be an equalizer. What if uh what if um Karate Hottie fought Francis Nogano? I mean they're both fighters. Do you think they could just use the hands? No, you can't. So there has to be some kind of weapon. I think a gun with all the, with all the gun laws and the gun licensing, um, I think that's a tricky one. I think I think that's the best one, without a doubt. I think everybody should carry one. I think they should be allowed to, unless they've committed a criminal or, or they're not here legally. I think any American citizen who's law abiding should be able to carry a gun. But that's beside the point. They can't. So, what what else would be the best weapon? The best equalizer a woman or a small man could carry. I think it's a knife. I think number two would be a knife. And I think when you're carrying a gun or a knife, when you go to your car or you're walking around somewhere sketchy at night where somebody could jump out at you, there's two things you should do. Number one, I think you should always be looking around like you're paranoid. Yeah, I'm going to talk about knives right now. This is my uh, this is my knife, but I want to talk about it. That's what I think is number two. Uh, OC spray, okay, small eh, bat, uh, yeah, flashlight, so so. I think I think you can hit it twice on there. Gun and knife, small gun or a big gun. But um, like to be honest, like uh, oh, sorry. 
Um, I think you should have your hand on it when you're walking. And you should be looking around all the time. Like you're paranoid. Like if there's somebody out there, right, who's stalking you, well, I mean, what are you scared of by looking around? Do you think that person's gonna think you're weird? <laughs> Better, right? It looks like you're alert. I think you should always be looking around when you're walking from your car, not just beelining with your head down, texting or going on Facebook. That's when you're gonna get killed. That's when somebody's gonna come up behind you and just blindside you. That's when somebody's gonna grab you and push you in your car, drive you somewhere secluded, rape and kill you. You always have to be looking around, I think. Okay, and if somebody you see somebody at the corner of your eye, don't be scared ever. Don't ever be scared to stop. Like, hey, can I help you? Hey, how you doing? What's up? I, address them. Okay, let them know that you've seen them. Okay, let them know that you've seen them. Like I said, what's the worst that can happen? Someone thinks you're paranoid? Be fucking paranoid. It's fine. It's better to be paranoid than dead. It's better to be paranoid than in a coma with a tracheostomy tube. Okay, be paranoid. When you're walking to your car at night, if it's secluded, be looking around. Don't let anyone sneak up behind you. And if somebody is behind you or, you know, walking off into the, walking behind you or off to the side of you, stand up to them and say, hey, what's up? How you doing tonight? Let them know that you see them and you acknowledge them. Okay? Then if they were going to attack you and try to get you, maybe they wouldn't. But then you see where it goes. At least you can see it coming as opposed to them blindsiding you. So, so you say, um, I live in love. And me. What do you say? This is topic, I live in love. Okay. Yeah, I'd love to have you on. I'd love to have people talking about this. So you talk, you stop. You say, hey, what's up? I see you there. How's everything? How's everything tonight? All right. Just let them know that you see them. It's okay to look paranoid when you're walking out to your car, just kind of looking around. Be paranoid. Don't be dead. Okay? And say, hey, what? acknowledge people. Hey, what's up, man? You know? Okay. Number two. You should be having your hand on your weapon. Do you look paranoid? Yeah, maybe. Does it look like maybe you have a weapon? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's a good thing. That deters people, right? It's okay to deter somebody, all right? The problem if you don't, and then all of a sudden you gotta pull out your knife, but it's not in your hand. Like you could be walking, you know, with it in your, in your hand, kind of in your pocket, right? It's okay, you hold it, okay? You have it in your hand, as opposed to trying to reach for it when the, when the adrenaline's flying, right? When the adrenaline's pumping. What if someone just grabbed your shoulder? Your adrenaline's gonna be so high. If you have a knife in your pocket, I guarantee you when they find your fucking body, it'll still be in your pocket. It should be ready to go, all right? You're not, you're not in the old west with, the, with a holster outside of your pants. Usually your gun is inside of your, inside of your purse or inside of your, you know, inside of your belt line or something. So put your hand on it when you're walking so you can just pull, right? Instead of reaching for it while then it's too late, have it where you can just pull it, okay? I think the best way to carry a knife is gonna be open, okay? And just like this, just like this. And anybody, you know, you see somebody come, hey, what's up, man, how you doing? If someone grabs you, it's right here. It's right there to stab or slash, okay? Just hold it. Just hold it and hide it like this in your hand, okay? Some people like this way better, so you hold it this way. This way is fine too, and you're just holding it. This way, if somebody grabs you out of the blue or someone rushes you, you're ready. You don't have to start digging in your pocket for it or in your purse. Keep it in your hand, all right? Your fine motor skills are shot when the adrenaline is pumping. So having it in your hand can mean the difference between life or death. If you're trying to grab it in your pocket or even your waistband, it's, it's, it, chances are it's gonna be too late. Fine motor skills are done. They're completely done. Somebody said, oh no, that's not true. You can dial 911 if you see a crime. 
Yeah, if they're not attacking you, you can, you have a lot of fine motor skills. But the second they have their hands on you and they're about to punch you or grab you or worse, your, your fine motor skills are shot. So if you don't have your hand on your weapon to deploy it, chances are it's going to be too late. So there's nothing wrong with carrying your knife like this when you walk in... When you walk into your car at night, women, okay? Somebody grabs you, if somebody grabs you, boom, you got it right here. This is all you got right here. You just stab, okay? Or slice. And you don't have to reach for it. You wanna carry it like this? This is good too, all right? You bring it up this way and you start stabbing like this. You slash the face, start stabbing the collarbone, the chest, or the face. But hold on to your knife when you're walking out to your car, ladies, and small guys, or big guys for that matter. I don't, I'm just using equalizers. So don't be scared to, for people to think you're paranoid. When you're walking out to your car, start, see you later, Michael. Start looking around, walk, walk around with a purpose. Walk around, you know, like you're not just in a daze, like somebody can just come up and get you, because they will. Walk around like you're, you're attentive, right? You're aware of your surroundings, walking around. And if you see somebody out of the corner of your eye and they look even a little bit sketchy, hey, what's up? Let them know you see them. Hey, what's up? How are you doing tonight? All right, and keep them in your eyes. And if they're walking towards you, stay, st stand towards them. And if they start walking a little too close, don't be scared to say, hey, can I help you? Please don't come any closer. Please do not come any closer. And keep your arms length. Okay, hey, I, what do you need, bro? What do you, why are you walking that close? Then if they come to you, do not expose your weapon to them, whether it's a gun or a knife. Don't expose it to you, don't expose it to them until you need to, all right? With a gun, you need a little more distance. So if they keep walking and you say, hey, what do you need, man? Back away, okay? If they, they, they keep coming to you, let them see your gun. Let them see your gun. Just say, can you back off, please, and show them your gun? If it's a knife, don't show it to them. Say, back away, back away, and have it arm's length, okay? And then the second they get in your, in your distance, maybe grab your arm, then you let the knife go. Let them feel it before they see it, okay? Let, the, let, let, let your attacker feel the knife blade against their skin before they see it. By the time they see your knife, they should be dripping blood by then, okay? I don't mean to be crass or gross, but that's the way to stay alive, all right? You don't wanna go reaching for your knife once the guy grabs you. It's too late then. It should be in your hand, ready to go. He grabs you, you start sticking him, or you slash him, or you cut his arm and then stab him. Nobody has the right to put their fucking hands on you guys in the street. Nobody has the right to, especially after you've made it clear that you do not want them to. Like if it was a drunk guy, just go, hey, what's up, man? And he, you know, that's one thing. But if it's somebody that's coming at you in a, with a purpose and you put your arm out and say, hey, back away, man, back away. And they keep coming in, okay? Whatever you do from there is self-defense, okay? What do you think? Yeah, stare at your feet and your phone. Yeah, you're right, Lonnie. That's not what you want. You want to be attentive. You want to be aware of your surroundings. That's not going to save you all the time, but it, it, at least they won't blindside you and attack you from the back. All right? So you want to see it coming. Always be looking over your shoulder. When I'm walking down Venice, I love Venice. I love Venice Beach. But when I, I go for walks with my wife all the time. We go down about every month, every other month. And we love to walk on the boardwalk and walk some of the crazy streets and stuff. But it's kind of dangerous. It's a dangerous place. I always have my hand on my weapon and I'm always looking around. I'm still having a great time. You can be paranoid and still have a great time. As opposed to just zoning out and then next thing you know you're fucking on the ground bleeding out of a fucking hole in your throat because someone just stabbed you from behind. Okay, that's not what you want. So, alright, any questions guys? That's all I got for today. Be aware of your surroundings. Don't be scared to look around and look paranoid. And keep your hand on your, on your weapon. Because your, mo your fine motor skills are going to fail you. 
They're going to fail you when you need them most. Okay, so you should have your hand on your weapon. Whether you want to carry your knife like this, and just walk in like this, where you can come up, or some people prefer this way. And as soon as somebody grabs them, they can slice and stab. I like this way better. I always have. I like to hold it like this, and I want to go straight for the face or the carotid. If I miss the carotid, I'll get the face. I want them to stop quickly. If someone grabs me or lays a hand on me or, you know, I want them to stop. And to me, a slice right across the face or the carotid, the carotid is going to kill them. But they shouldn't have laid their hands on me. I'd rather they be dead than me be dead. I'd rather they be dead than my wife be dead. So if I've told someone to back the fuck, back, back off, back away, and they keep coming, I have to assume they're coming to hurt me. I can't assume they're going to come and say, hey, remember me? I knew you in high school. I meet some guy at Venice at 10 at night. So that's not going to happen. So what do you guys think about that? Thank you, Lonnie. I hope you like this stuff. I hope you learned something from it. And um, I just don't want any of you guys to get hurt out there. It can be a fucking dangerous place. It, it can be... I ran into a drunk guy this weekend. I, I told this story already, but I'll tell you again. I ran into a drunk guy this week while I was in Venice. And he was so drunk, he thought he was in San Francisco. He was so drunk. He was just completely hammered. And he was laying there, and I could just tell. He had like a nice watch on. He had a nice iPhone. He had, he had the way he was dressed. I knew this guy wasn't just, you know, a street person. And he was so drunk, Heather and I just couldn't leave him because he was laying out asleep. And I just couldn't leave him because I knew somebody, some predator, you know, opportunistic guy would come in and take his watch or beat him or do something to him. So I just couldn't leave him because he was so vulnerable. So Heather and I, we actually got him up and we moved him. We walked him to a fucking coffee shop and, and for the next four hours, we sobered this guy up. And it was because I just don't want to leave some guy vulnerable, you know, on, on the street. There's a lot of evil people. I hate to say it. I know there's a lot of people that think, oh, everybody's nice. Nobody would do that. They would. There are a shit ton of evil, terrible people that will do anything. They would kill anyone for a fucking iPhone. They would beat anyone for $5. And they're out there. They really are. I don't care what your political view is or if you how you feel about, you know, the the, you know, immigration. I don't I don't care any of that. Just know there's American and there's immigrants and there's white and there's black and there's, you know, there's some terrible people out there. So just fucking keep, you keep, be aware of it and don't be scared to carry a weapon. And don't be scared to have it in your hand when you're walking at night. Okay? Don't be scared to look paranoid and alert. Don't be scared to be alert. It's better to be pre prepared than dead. Okay? We call it prepared. You can call it paranoid. I call it alive. All right? All right, guys. That's all I got. Please share this. If you like it, uh, send me a comment. Um, and if you have anything to, to add to this, let me know. All right. Thanks for coming.